When we consider a resource-based economy, there are often a number of arguments that tend to come up with regard hey. to the efficiency. Hey, uh, hey, uh, now hold on just a minute. Yes. I know what this is. This is called Marxism, buddy. Stalin killed 800 billion people because of ideas like this. My yeah, father yeah, died yeah, in the right. gulag. Uh, hold on, this hold on. You communist, fascist. You don't like America, you should just leave. Everybody just calm down. And as the irrationality of the audience grew, shocked and confused, suddenly the narrator suffered a fatal heart attack. <laughs> And the seemingly communist propaganda film was no more. I don't really, honestly, deep down believe in political action. I think the system contracts and expands as it wants to. It accommodates these changes. I think the civil rights movement was an accommodation on the part of those who own the country. I think they see where their self-interest lies. They see a certain amount of freedom seems good, an illusion of liberty. Give these people a voting day every year so that they'll have the illusion of meaningless choice. Meaningless choice that we go like slaves and say, oh, I voted. The limits of debate in this country are established before the debate even begins, and everyone else is marginalized. They're made to seem either to be communist or was some sort of disloyal person. A kook, there's a word, and now it's conspiracy. See, they've made that something that should not be even entertained for a minute, that powerful people might get together and have a plan. Doesn't happen. You're a kook. You're a conspiracy buff.